name's Nathan Taylor, otherwise known as Sockmatician, and this is a video tutorial to accompany the Sockmatician's Double Knitted Brioche ebook. This particular video looks at how to work the branch increase while working in inverted double knitted brioche. I'm already working in inverted double knitted brioche across this little section here, so my the knit coloured stitches on this side of the fabric are actually being created with my pearl coloured yarn and the pearl coloured stitches which are showing up on the back are being created by my knit coloured yarn. As a result of that, in the normal way of things, I've got both of my yarns going over the top of the right needle to the back of the work. And here is how it's done. Going in from back to front, pick up the left shoulder of the parent stitch of the first knit stitch on the right needle with its yarn over. So that means you have to identify which that is. So this is the first knit stitch on the right needle. That's the purl stitch there, so it's actually the second stitch you're looking for. And the parent of that stitch is this one just here. So here's the stitch that's on the needle and here's its parent. And I want to go in, I want to insert the tip of my left needle underneath the yarn over that goes around the shoulders of that parent stitch and the left shoulder of the stitch itself. Let me show you that again, stretch everything out so you can see exactly what's what. So you're looking for not the top yarn over strand, which is that one, because that's the one that's currently going around the stitch that's on the needle. You want the yarn over just below that, which is the one that goes around the shoulders of the parent stitch, which is the one just below that top stitch. So into there, and into there and lift it up onto the left needle like so. Using your pearl coloured yarn, that's this one, knit into the picked up stitch with its yarn over through the back leg. So I've got my, both yarns are around the back of the, uh, over the top of the right needle there. And I'm going to go into the two loops I've just picked up and knit those together through the back leg. I'm going to bring my knit coloured yarn to the front of the work, coming between the two needles. Then bring your pearl coloured yarn to the front of the work, coming between the two needles, and take it to the back of the work, going over the top of the right needle, like that. Now I'm going to tilt my needles towards me, keeping the yarns in place. This one is officially at the front of the work, and this one is over the top of the right needle at the back. But I'm going to bring it just out of the way for a second so that you can see what's going on on the back of the work. I now need to insert the tip of my left needle under the yarn over that goes around the shoulders of the parent first purl stitch on the needle. So this is the first purl stitch over here, and this is its parent stitch, and here's the yarn over that goes around its shoulders. Can you see that there? Yarn over and stitch. Take the purl yarn back to where it was. Now I can use my knit coloured yarn and purl into that stitch, the picked up stitch, with its yarn over like so, being very careful to make sure I maintain that pearl coloured yarn over over the top of the stitch as I complete the, the pearl stitch there. Then I take my knit coloured yarn to the back of the work going over the top of the right needle. Let me show you that once again. I'll just get one pair away from it and show it to you hopefully with a bit more flow than that. So here I am, I've just completed my stitch and both of my yarns are at the back of the work going over the top of the right needle. Insert the tip of the left needle under the yarn over that goes around the parent stitch's shoulders and the left shoulder of the parent stitch itself. And using my pearl coloured yarn, I knit those loops together through the back legs. Then I bring my knit coloured yarn to the front, coming between the two needles. My pearl coloured yarn comes to the front and goes to the back. Tilt the work, then I can pick up the, sh the yarn over and the parent stitch from the left going from front to back there and there. Come back to the front and then I can use my knit coloured yarn to purl into that stitch making sure I keep that purl coloured yarn over in place and finish by taking the knit coloured yarn to the back of the work. And here then I've got these two stitches, which are now going to divide into two, creating the little branch increases. You can, of course, work multiple branch increases into the same spots, just as you can in standard mode. And that just requires doing the same set of movements, but into the same place, picking up that yarn over and that stitch going into the same hole, 
working the, uh, the, the knit stitch with your pearl coloured yarn and tilting your needles towards you and picking up the same two strands on the back. That should all be very self-explanatory. And that's all you need to know about working the branch increase in inverted double knitted brioche.